Elk are part of the ungulate family, those mammals with hooves. But elk have some special adaptations that make them special. Find out more about elk. What's that? That's an elk. It looks kind of like a deer, but it's not. How is it different? Well, it's bigger, you know. Drone at Science Check can help explain it better. Hi guys, what's up? Could you tell us more about elk? Sure. Elk are part of the deer family called Cervidae. That group consists of moose, caribou, white-tailed deer, mule deer, and elk in Idaho and North America. All of these animals have common characteristics. They're herbivores, that is, they don't eat plants. Elk eat more than three pounds of food per day per 100 pounds of weight, so as much as 21 pounds a day. A male elk can weigh as much as 700 pounds and is about five feet at its shoulder. A female elk can weigh up to 500 pounds and stands about four and a half feet tall. Elk primarily live in the Western United States, but can be found in other parts of the United States and Canada. Elk are ruminants. Ruminants? These are animals like cows, giraffes, deer, sheep, you know, the animals that graze or walk along as they eat. Elk and other animals have a stomach divided into four chambers. When they eat, the plant material is held in the first stomach, where bacteria and other organisms start breaking down the food. Generally, when the animal's resting, they bring the contents back up into their mouths. This is called cud. The ruminants then chew the cud again, breaking it down into a finer mesh. The food is then swallowed and moved to a second stomach chamber for more digestion. Next, the food moves into the third stomach chamber, where water is taken out. Finally, what's left moves into the fourth stomach, where digestion is completed. Ew, why would they do that? Well, it has to do with what they eat. I mean, can you imagine how hard it would be for you to digest grasses? No! Is there anything more you can tell us about elk? Male elk are called bulls, and female elk are called cows. Elk have a number of adaptations that help them survive. One is their coat. Their coat is a shade of tan to brown. It helps them hide from predators. Bull elk tend to be a lighter color than cow elk. They both have a white or cream-colored patch on their rump. Twice a year, elk shed every hair on their bodies. Their summer coat has just one layer of hair. Their winter coat has two layers, a thick covering of long hairs and a dense woolly undercoat. Elk's winter coat is five times warmer than their summer coat. And elk need a lot of space. They migrate in the spring to higher elevations to find new growing plants. Then in the winter, they move to lower ground. Elk often migrate for miles and sometimes take the same route year after year. What are those things on its head? Those are antlers. Only bull elk, the males, grow antlers. They start growing in the spring from bony bumps on the bull elk's head. As they grow, they're covered by velvet. The velvet is a thin layer of skin covered by short hairs and has thousands of blood vessels. It takes about four to five months for a set of antlers to grow, and by then, they're solid bone. They can weigh up to 40 pounds and have up to a four-foot spread. Elk shed their antlers in the late winter through the spring, just in time to start growing a new set. Why do they need antlers? Bull elk use their antlers to fight other males for mates and to impress the females. Elks live in herds with a group of cow elks and a single bull. Other males will fight to take over the herd. During the fall, elk enter their mating season. It's called the rut. Bull elk will bugle to attract a mate and to challenge other males. A bugle? Like this? <sighs> no, like this. <laughs> The first part of the bugle can be heard over a long distance. The second part of the bugle, which is a series of low grunts, is designed to attract female elk closer by. Calves or baby elk are born mid-May to early June. Mother elk will leave their calves hidden in the bush and alone while they go out and eat or to guard against predators. Young elk stay with their mothers until they're about a year old. Elk can live as long as 20 years, but the average is about 10 to 13 years in the wild. Elk are important to the ecosystem, but they've lost a lot of habitat. Humans now manage the range or habitat that's left to keep a healthy population. Hunting can keep an elk from overpopulating an area and provide more food. But wildlife biologists don't want people feeding elk. Elk will gather in large numbers and that could increase the chance of spreading disease. Elk have been ranging North America for centuries and we need to protect and enjoy the populations that are left. Pretty interesting. Thanks, Joan. Now what? Move along. Wait, who said that? I think it was the elk. 
Joan didn't tell us about that. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org. <laughs>